And before I did this video, I searched on YouTube and did not find anything about Grapevine and magic. Um, and that I thought that that was really strange. Um, now, I know that grapevines can be used to make wreaths or to make pentacles, um, things of that nature, but I've never actually seen them talked about as far as magic spells. Um, and what even got me thinking about it was I was about to throw away some grapevine, and before I threw it in the trash, I thought, wait a minute. I thought of that phrase, um, heard it through the grapevine. And I thought about rumors spreading or gossip or things like that. And I thought, maybe this will be useful um, as a means of stopping such such talk. Um, and so I thought I would talk to you guys a little bit about um, my thoughts on it. So... Um, you know, everybody's heard the whole heard it through the grapevine thing, and it usually does pertain to a rumor. Sometimes it's a, a good rumor, you know, like somebody might be a prefer promotion that you know, or whatever, but it, it's also used for gossip, it, the precursor to gossip. Um, and a lot of people like to gossip, you know, so, um, you know, this could be used to stop that. Um... Or if you have news, like let's say you got a new job or you got engaged or you're pregnant or whatever it is that you told your best friend blabbermouth and you don't want her to tell and it's not a, a, a malicious thing that you just want to shut her up, but you just don't want her to put that on her grapevine. Um, you know, you want her to just kind of forget to tell that kind of, that, that news, that particular news. You know, you can do a spell to maybe let that slip her mind when she's going over her um, or his um, random itinerary of gossip with his other, you know, your other friends or, you know, your family, if it was a relative that you told. Um, you know, maybe you're, you want to be the one to tell them. Like, for example, perfect example, okay? <laughs> Between my mom and my sister and I. My mom always tells my sister my news. It just never fails. The first person I tell is my mom. My mom always runs to my sister and says, Hey, did you hear this? And then by the time I go tell my sister, she goes, Oh, I know mom told me. <laughs> so that would be something wherein I might use grapevine to, to let my news slip my mom's mind so that I get to be the one to tell my good news for once. <laughs> Um, so there's, you know, a couple good reasons for having this grapevine lying around. Um, the other thing is it also could be used if you want to get a message to somebody. Let's say there's a friend that all you guys seem to be doing is playing phone tag. Um, you cannot seem to get a hold of them and you need to get something important to them. Well, that's where having a friend who likes to, to jabber is a good thing. You tell your friend, and then you make you, you make it so that um, your request will be on her grapevine of, of things to talk about. Um, and use your magic in that way to spread out your, um, to spread the message of your intent. Um, and I just think that it's such an awesome thing to have handy. Um, I do, I do have some, uh, grapevine right now on hand, but I just used it in a spell not too long ago, and when I did that, I didn't let it dry properly before I put it up, and it got moldy, so, um, I don't want to be having, uh, moldy grapefruit sat up here for you guys, or moldy, moldy grapevine, I should say. Um, the other thing that I have seen, um, grapevine used for is to make wreaths and pentacles and things like that. Um, and I know that it's it's just a really good thing to have on hand. Um, let's say you have, you're into the, the whole pop, making puppets out of people thing, and you know somebody who just really gossips too much for their own good. You could make a poppet um, with grapevine um, in knots and throw it in there like that. Um, things of that, um, if you want to even stop, um, gossip from coming to you or things that you just don't want to hear about, if you want to stop them from coming to you, you can also work your grapevine that way. Um, 
And so, aside from spells, there's just like a lot of awesome things you can do with it. You could probably use it to weave within your book of shadows, um, so that your your business stays your business. Um, there's just a lot of things that I can think of personally to do with Grapevine. So let me know in the comment section if you guys have used Grapevine in the past and and how you used it. Um, and just, yeah, share information and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I will see you guys next week. I'm sorry my video is not longer, but I really do feel like I'm going to start coughing in a second. So uh, I will talk to you next week. Have a wonderful week and many, many blessings. Bye-bye.